What's good, Fight Fans? It's Ashley Scorner. I came across this video yesterday, man. And I, I mean, I told myself, you know, when I get some time, I got I to gotta respond to this shit that I've seen. You know? The video was with um, Ryan Garcia. And the guy on the left is a guy from U, um, y, uh, Yahoo Sports, I believe. I think his name is Kevin Ioli. All right? Now, Kevin Ioli, Kevin Ioli did not really, you know, his questions was great. I liked his questions, and I I liked even more when Ryan Garcia said something that was kind of off or, or idiotic. You know, he straightened it out without being rude. And that's what more, you know, people giving interviews should do is kind of tell it how it is. You know what I mean? So it's a good it's a good little interview. I'm going to put it inside of the description, inside of a link, inside of the description box. On this video, you guys should check it out. All right. Something's wrong with Ryan Garcia. All right. <laughs> Something is wrong with him and they need to give him a, a, a PR team or something. You know, or in, just have him stop talking for himself so out, so outward. He says whatever comes to mind without really thinking twice. And uh, it shows almost in every single interview that he's had already. But Kevin, I Kevin always just said that, you know, people are starting to compare Ryan Garcia, which is on the right, to Oscar De La Hoya. And um, if people didn't know, that's who he signed with, Golden Girl Promotions. So um, he said, uh, you know, in return, he feels blessed and honored to be compared to Oscar De La Hoya. And um, but like a like a young legend would say, I want to do more and go further than him. And Kevin Ioli said, <laughs> he was like, uh, you know, he straight up told his little young ass, like, you know, Oscar De La Hoya went from 130 all the way up to middleweight and he fought everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like basically all right, what I was saying, what I was saying, motherfucker, you can't make it up to no damn middleweight. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Without saying it. You know what I'm saying? Like, bruh, only certain people compare you to anybody. Ryan Garcia is nobody. He should be compared to nobody. Nobody like nobody that, you know, what no uh real hardcore boxing fans is comparing Ryan Garcia to no goddamn um Oscar De La Hoya. But I mean it was really gay how how uh <laughs> how how uh Kevin I, I only said it. He said both both of you guys are good looking guys. Both of you guys are starting at 130. Get the fuck out of here with both of you guys are good looking guys. Get out of here with that. Alright? But Kevin Ali also asked him why did he turn pro so early? I think he said he had like what 20 amateur fights. This is what he said or something like that, something around there. And um, he was like, why did you turn pro so early? And Ryan Garcia said he turned pro early because he um, he made the, the youth team of the USA Olympics, but they changed that the age requirement from 18 to 19. So he was unqualified to be a part of that. So he thought there's no there's no reason to stay an amateur if they're going to fight you without headgear. These are his exact words. It is no point and it's not considered um amateur in his opinion that's not amateur then this is what he said now if you ask me and a lot of other people that know boxing there's a lot of reasons that like he said there's no reason to stay amateur there's a lot of reasons to stay amateur number one you being not ready there's still things to learn you know like lomo stayed amateur or whatever you call it for the longest he did that for the longest and fought without the headgear he did it forever okay he did it for a very long time so when he came and when he became pro, he was already in that he was already on that level that other fighters that that turn pro isn't even close to. You know what I mean? And it's the same thing. Like he was fighting at a level where they fought with no headgear, but none of those losses or wins came with him in his professional career. And I believe he should have did the same. But I believe, you know, since you know he had this rival with Devin Haney, he wanted to be on the same level as Devin Haney. Meaning, since Haney's turning pro, I'm a turn pro. Instead of just waiting your turn and developing how you needed to develop before turning pro. Ryan Garcia went on to say that he wants to fight the best. All the top guys right now. And then again, when they're in their prime. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, just saying that um, he wants to just see who wins 
before and after their prime. He's saying that he wants to fight Javante Tank Davis. This is Tank Davis. For anybody who don't know that, this is Javante Tank Davis that he keeps saying. He keeps talking about and bringing up his name. That's who he wants to fight, along with, I think, three or four other people that he cannot beat. He keeps calling out. But he said he wants to fight Javante Tank Davis right now and uh, see who wins. Then again, down the line. That's how exactly how he said it. Um, and he said, I mean, I don't really know, you know, anybody that will agree to some shit. Like, Javante Davis, if he, if you and him fight and he whoop you, bruh, you're not going to want to rematch with Javante Davis. Because I feel he, you're going to get punched in your in your carotid, like slam in the throat. I mean, uh, Ryan Garcia fights straight up, yo. Straight up like a ballerina. His posture is perfect as shit. When he fights, yo, and that's not good when you're dealing with anybody with speed, and power, and I believe, and I know he has speed, but you don't got power like Tank Davis, yo. You will get knocked the fuck out. But and they went back to talk about Tank and said, um, you know, Tank doesn't, cause um, Kevin, I only asked, you know, since Tank Davis, you know, has a better resume, fought better competition, and you know, he, you know, he he said a couple things without saying it. Basically, he said, since he's better than you, how do you expect to win? Basically, is how he said, you know what I mean, is what he said. And uh, Ryan Garcia says that Tank doesn't, doesn't do too good in the later rounds. And if he establishes his range and stays composed, he will be able to beat him prob and beat him pretty easily. That's what Ryan Garcia said. About Javante Take Davis. He'll be able to beat him pretty easily if he just stay composed and keep his range. Meaning, if he lasts to the later rounds. I don't see you lasting four rounds. I mean, I'm just being honest. And I'm, I know a lot of people that agree with me in saying that, bro. You're not going to last no round. Nobody, a lot of fighters don't last late, late in the rounds with him. I mean, there's only been one fight he looked bad later in the rounds. But he still stopped the fighter. And I heard there was a lot of shit going on around that time. That was the time when he was getting, he was going to court for hitting a friend, punching a friend at the gym. I believe he was sick during that fight. It was, it was things that... You know, had his, um, that had him fighting the way that he was fighting during that fight. But that's only one fight. I don't really remember seeing him look bad in the later rounds in any other fight besides the one where he was on the McGregor and Mayweather undercard. Then, um, Telefemo Lopez came into the conversation. And for people who don't know, this is Telefemo Lopez. I fucks with cuz. I really do. I like him. I like his fighting style. He looks like he knows a lot. And he's, you know, got some pop to him and some speed. I like him. Okay? Um, and that's just my opinion. That's me saying that I like him. Neither one of these guys said that, of course. But, um... Yeah, uh, he was asked about him and saying that, you know, he, you know, says says his name a lot and whatnot. And Ryan Garcia said that um, he should be careful, that Lopez should be careful of what he wished for because he might, you know, it might bite him in the butt. That's what Ryan Garcia said. And uh, when he was asked about if he would fight him, saying that, you know, Lopez fights at 135 and... Um, at, at lightweight and uh ryan garcia fights at 130 he asked if you would take that fight he said um he will most definitely take that fight you know he says that he and and i quote he says he has no fear of him meaning lopez and he said he is like a regular fighter <laughs> he's 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 regular you know and um he uh will he if and if the fight did happen he will not be concerned at all about that bout. And in my opinion, yo, Lopez flames this dude, yo, like knocks him out real bad. Like I don't, he's not a regular fighter. In my opinion, in my opinion, Ryan Garcia is more regular than Lopez is. Tell from Lopez, all Ryan Garcia has is speed. Period. Defense ain't all there. Your offense really ain't that. Like you just like he just like check punches. He throws a lot, a lot of check hooks, and he he counters a lot. He got fast hands. That's it. That's it. When it comes to Ryan Garcia, yo, if anybody's regular is you, not Lopez. Lopez, even though he hasn't had that many fights and whatnot, I mean he's still he's still good. Like I I think he's ranked 
in um at at 135 and so i think what the ib the ibf or maybe the wba or something he's in the ranking i think he's low in the ranking but he's still in the ranking he only had um how many fights i don't even remember i think it's like nine or something like that i think he had like nine fights and ryan garcia has um 15 already like come on man you gotta show a little more respect than that or the shit that Ryan Garcia says is going to bite him in the butt. But then um, Kevin Aoli asked Ryan Garcia about Devin Haney. You know what I mean? What about Devin Haney? You know, tell me a little bit more about that. And people who don't know who Devin Haney is, this is Devin Haney right here. He is the young protege that turned pro, I think, what, 16, something like that? So he turned pro really young. He um, was the protege of uh, Floyd Mayweather, worked with him a lot. When he was, uh, I think, 15, 16 years old. You've seen a lot of footage with him. You see a lot of footage with uh, um, the father training. Uh, well, uh, Floyd Mayweather, the father training. Um, training Dev Devin Haney. And, you know, Devin Haney is, is a talent. And he's getting bigger and bigger. But Ryan Garcia, I mean, came off just saying that, you know, him and Devin Haney been rivals since they were eight or nine years old. And um, they went back and forth as far as winning. He won some. Um, Ryan won some. Devin won some. Back and forth, you know, since they were eight, eight or nine years old. And um, in the future, he believes him versus, Van versus Haney, Devin Haney, is the big money fight. That's the super fight for him in the future. Now, all I really have to say about, about um, Ryan Garcia is that he wants to be the next pay-per-view star, you know, he wants to be, he's, you know, he got his, he has his own main events. He's, he's doing it from having his own fans and a big following on social media. That's how he looks at it, you know, and that's what he wants. He's calling out big names and, you know, names that he shouldn't even be saying. Like the biggest one is Mikey Garcia. You should have never said Mikey Garcia's name, bro. You do not want that type of work. You know, all of which are the people he called out. I see him beating none of them. But the biggest thing is, if you want to be at the next pay-per-view star, somebody needs to tell that man that you cannot be a big pay-per-view star with a bunch of losses. And you've already called out four people that if they fought you, when you want to fight them, which is right now, you would have four losses immediately before coming anything, coming close to being pay-per-view, meaning you will never be pay-per-view, son. Yo, somebody, yo, need to get Ryan Garcia away from Oscar De La Hoya because the drugs is there. Or just get him away from the microphone. Stop letting him feel it. Like, y'all, his head is pumped the hell up. He's feeling himself to the highest degree. And he's saying whatever the hell he want to these cameras and stuff. Like, that shit needs to stop, y'all. I think, what, how many people have been Devin Haney, Tyler from Lopez, um, Tank Davis, Mikey Garcia, and I believe with somebody else. Do y'all think he can beat any of them people, y'all, right now? Because that's because right now is when he wants them fights, y'all. You know? But man, I had to talk about this, y'all. And just like I said, this whole interview will be into a link into the description below. But that's it, and that's all. Shout out to the LDBC. Always like and subscribe to the channel. Peace.